Hey everybody, it's Mr. Pratt here, and today we're trying out the beep test. So the beep test is something I use at uh, my elementary school. I use it with students as young as grade one. I have them do it three times a year, starting in grade one uh, until they leave our school. I find it's a really great uh, way for students to build some of that cardiovascular fitness. I know it seems a little intense, but younger students can only run so far, so it ends up actually being a really good workout for them. And you'll be surprised that some six-year-olds can make it a lot further than a lot of adults or their own parents. Another reason I really love the beep test is because because it helps students do things like goal set. So setting a target, having a target in mind, tracking their improvement. I actually track um, all three of their scores every year and I show them what they got last time so they can try and beat it if they would like to. We focus a lot on or intra-personal competition, not interpersonal competition. So trying to push yourself and better yourself to do the best that you can. We also talk a little bit about resiliency, how the beep test helps us push through and uh, continue doing things past what we think we're capable of doing. So for example, if you ever want to climb to the top of a mountain to see a, a majestic view, you're going to have to push through some pain to get there. So um, just like in other places in life, having perseverance really pays off. I've also found that the beep test really helps a lot of kids with confidence. Uh, maybe you have some students in your class who aren't necessarily the best team sport athletes, but uh, they might be good individual athletes or good runners. It's a great opportunity for them to shine as well. We also do a little bit of a leaderboard so uh, students can kind of see how, they, uh, how they're doing compared to you know, students in the past help building some school culture. So I actually track our all time school records and then keep records for each school year as well. And again, I want to reemphasize this. We do not do this as a competitive piece. This is something that we're using to help recognize students for success, just like a band performance would recognize band students for the great work that they're doing. The beep test is a way for some athletes or students in your school to shine. So we're gonna give the beep test a shot today. We're actually gonna try it a few different ways. So we're gonna be doing it traditionally on our feet, running or jogging. Okay, and then we're also gonna try it out on rollerblades and a bike. Now, even though this isn't how you would traditionally do it, it's still a great workout, great for learning starting and stopping on a bike and rollerblades, and it just makes it maybe a bit more fun. If you're more likely to do the beep test, it's good for you no matter what, no matter how you're doing it. So it's worth giving it a shot. You can, of course, expect to go a little bit further on rollerblades or a bike. Your level will probably be significantly higher. And again, when you're running, remember to do the best that you can do. It doesn't matter if you're beating other people, just do what you can do. You know, whether you're at a level two or a level 10, that might be good for you, it might not be good for you. Keep in mind, every day is a different day. You might not have had a good sleep, you might not have had a good breakfast. It's all good. Just try it out, have some fun with it. All right, so as you can see here, I've got my beep test track set up. I've marked the starting line, big red, thick line, yellow buckets. As you progress down the course, you're gonna see I have little lines marked at every five meters. So it's a total of 20 meter track. Okay, and down at the end, as you saw in the video, those are my chairs, or as you'll see in the video, it's my chairs for my coaches and supporters, as well as my kids. The 20 meter mark is also marked with a thick red line. At this point, I would turn around, head back the other way. Start level one, one. Level one, two. Start level four, one. Level four, two. Level five, three. Level five, four. Level six, nine. Level six, ten.
All right, so that about does it for the beep test. A few tears, a few wipeouts later. Hey team, but we're doing all right. Whew. Just keep in mind, like I said earlier, this beep test is about you. If you're gonna do it with students or yourself, challenge yourself. Some people are competitive, they can challenge each other, but for most people, it's not motivating for them to try and be the best because realistically, one person's gonna be the best. And that's not a way to motivate everybody to be active. The way we've set up the beep test in my school makes it fun, accessible, and useful for everybody. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Mr. Pratt, signing off from the beep test. Level five, seven. Level five, eight. Level Morning. There's a puppy. What do you think? It's so pay today. Okay.